All right, guys, welcome to 7.4. Um, the book calls this um, the percent equation section. We're just going to effectively call this more awesome percent applications because we're really not learning anything new here um, in this lesson. So, yeah, more awesome percent applications. All right, so I thought this was kind of cool. On uh, June 14th in 2002, the distance between the Earth and the moon was 375... Move my little asteroid. Kilometers. Okay, 375,000 oh, 375, 375, kilometers. Okay, and on that day, so this is June 14th, 2002, uh, an asteroid actually only missed the Earth by about 32% of that distance. Okay, that's actually kind of frightening because um, 32% is pretty much like right there. Now, I know obviously this is way bigger than it looks, but that distance is 32% of that distance, and the moon is only 375,000 miles away from us. So essentially what happened is this asteroid comes screaming by right there, and he's gone. See, he's gone. What we're going to do is we want to figure out how far away from the Earth was that asteroid, okay? Otherwise known as, what was that distance that's 32%? Well, how can we do that? Well, remember... When we're talking about like percent um, and we're solving application problems, we talk about part and base a lot. So let's just refresh with the percent proportion. And remember, that is the A over B, and A is the part, B is the base or the whole, is equal to P over 100. Okay, so can we use that to help solve us how far away our little asteroid friend was? Well, actually, we can, okay? What is the part and what is the base? Well, you know, actually, we don't know the part. The part's going to be usually smaller than the base, okay? And the base, in this case, is going to be this full distance, okay? This is the full distance of 375,000. So what's the part? Well, the part's going to be this distance, but we don't know what it is, okay, in actual kilometers, but we do know that it is... 32%, okay, so remember our P is our percent, so it's going to go on top of the other um, ratio, over, always over 100, okay? So this little proportion here is actually going to help us figure out how far away was that asteroid, okay? So, what can I do? Well, can I mental math this one? Yeah, maybe. You know, I could simplify first. I could just go ahead and butterfly. Let's just go ahead and butterfly, okay? x times 100, well, that's 100x, is equal to, let's get another color, how about green? Uh, 375,000 times 32, that's going to equal 12 million, okay? And lastly, I just got to solve for x, so I'm just going to divide by 100, divide by 100. Remember, if I'm dividing by 100, it essentially means I move this decimal two places to the left, Dividing by a thousand, move it to three places to the left, and so on and so forth. But anyway, in the end, I get x equal to, well, what? One, two, zero, 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 zero. Okay? I effectively move this decimal two places to the left because I'm divided by 100. I'm left with one, two, three, four zeros, one, two, three, four there. And it's what? 120,000, and we're talking about what here? kilometers, so 127, or 127, 120,000 kilometers. Well, what is that 120,000 kilometers? That's the distance away that this asteroid was from the Earth. Scary. All right, well, let's say you're not very interested in the moon or the asteroid, and you like cars, though, okay? Well, we can actually, there's a lot of percent application uh, when it comes to cars. So we're going to talk about what's called commission. Wow, it's not writing. Okay, let's try this one more time. Commission, C-O-M-M-I-S-S-I-O-N. Commission, okay, what is commission? Well, commission is what a lot of car salesmen make based upon you buying the car that they're selling to you, okay? So some people, some salespeople are 
paid purely on commission, which means if they don't sell any cars, they make no money, and if they sell a lot of cars, they can make a lot of money. Okay, so let's take the Nissan GTR, okay, and we'll say that this one, this Nissan GTR, probably mm, in the realm of 110000 okay, the sticker price, all right? And let's say there's a salesman, and he makes, um, say, a 3% commission on, on any car he sells, okay? So what we want to figure out is, well, how much does he make? Or if you want to be a salesperson at a Nissan dealership, and you sell $110,000 Nissan GTR, what are you going to make? Well, we can figure this out with the percent huh, proportion. A over B equals P over 100. Okay, well, what is A? Well, again, A is always the part. Okay, so what's bigger? The dollar, the sticker price, or the kind of, you know, the amount that salesperson is going to make, the actual money he's going to take home? Well, the money is going to be smaller that he makes. The actual amount of commission is going to be less than the sticker price, obviously. They can't the dealership can't pay the salesperson more than the car was even bought for, so the commission is going to be A. We don't know, okay? But we do know the base is going to be $110,000, okay? Because the commission is based off of, well, based off of the base, okay? P percent, well, they told us the percent, 3, and it's always over 100 over there. So, what can we do? Well, we can butterfly, and say, well, A times 100 is 100A, and that's going to be equal to 300, oh, 3 times 110,000, 330,000. And then lastly, you got to get A by itself, so divide by 100. Divide by 100, okay, so effectively wiping out two of those zeros, okay, and really what you're left with in the end is A equals three zero zero three thousand three hundred dollars. Okay, now three percent might be a little high, but I mean, think about it. It's probably fairly reasonable. Okay, think about this. Someone walks into your car dealership, you're a salesperson, and three hours later they leave the dealership with a new car. And you have just made $3,300. That's pretty cool, okay? So money isn't everything, of course. But being a salesperson can actually be fairly lucrative if you're selling things that are pretty expensive. All right, so let's say you are a salesperson at the Hyundai dealership. And the 2014 Azera is now on the lot, the Hyundai Azera. And the sticker price is $34,750. And you, as a salesperson, make 2% commission. I want you to take a minute, pause the video, and try and figure out just exactly what commission you're going to make in dollars. We know what the percentage is, but if you sell one of these, how much commission are you going to make? Pause the video and try it. Play it when you're done. All right, hopefully you set up the percent proportion, the A over B equals P over 100. Well, what's the part? Well, the part, A, is what we don't know. That's the actual dollar commission amount. So we're going to use an X and put that over the base, which is $34,750. That's equal to P. Well, P is percent, and we know the percent, and that's always over 100. Okay? It's a really odd-looking 3. Okay, that's a little better. So how can we solve this? Well... It's so a cross multiply or butterfly. X times 100, 100 X, equals 2 times 30, 30, 34,750. That's going to get you 69,500. And now we just have to divide by 100 to get X by itself. And what you should get is X equals 695. Dollars, Okay, well, not as much as the Nissan GTR guy who made like $3,300. However, consider this. I mean, someone comes in the dealership, knows what they want to buy. By the time they're, between the time they're, you know, in the door and out the door, maybe three hours has gone by to get them to test drive it. They like it and they have to do all the paperwork. 
maybe three hours, four hours, you make $695, that's a good amount. All right, so now let me throw this at you. What percent of 25 is 60? Seems simple, right? Okay, well, part over the base equals the percent over 100. Okay, well, huh, that's interesting, because I'm solving for what in this case? Solving for the percent, okay? And so that's going to be my variable. But what about A and B? Well, A is the part, B is the whole, right? Well, remember the whole, or the base, comes right after the word of. And here I see of 25. So you know what my base is? 25. What percent of 25 is 60? Remember the number that comes after is is my part. Well, that's interesting because my part is bigger than my base. And you know what? Occasionally you're going to have that, and that's okay. And it's going to equal P over 100. So, how do I solve this? Well, I can actually use a little mental math because I know to get from 25 to 100, multiply by 4. So what is 60 times 4? Well, that's 240, and that equals P. But what is P? P is a percent. So my final answer is actually 240 percent. All right, that's all I have for this video. I will see you later.